Well, hello, sisters. This is Donna Partell, and I'm welcoming you to the very first lesson in your Hope Again series. And I'm so excited for what I know God is going to do in and through your life. Together for the next 30 days, we'll be studying my book, Becoming a Vessel of God's Power, The Power of God. You see, what separates us from all the religions of the world is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. We're not merely following a, a good set of teachings and reading great stories in this book. If that's all we had, we'd be no different from the Buddhist or the Muslims or any other religion. But it's not about a good book, although this is the greatest book ever written. It's about Christ in you, the hope of glory. There's a lot of talk in the world and even in the church about the power of positive thinking. And you know, it took a long time for this Jersey girl to admit it, but positive thinking is much more productive than negative thinking. I still have some work to do on that. But you know, positive thinking is just psychological. Hope is something very different. Hope is not just looking at a glass and declaring it's half empty or half full. That has to do with positive or negative thinking. Hope acknowledges the one who gave human beings the creativity to fashion the glass. Hope acknowledges the one who supplies water out of his grace and mercy. Hope is something altogether different. You know, it says um, in 1 Peter, in chapter three, praise be to the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope. Into a living hope. That's what we have. And we are shielded by God's power. So the basis of our hope is not psychological. Our hope is theological. It's rooted in the Word of God and it's rooted in the reality of God living inside of us. And that's what we're going to be looking at and praying that God would reveal His presence in our lives in a very personal way and that His power would be unleashed in us and through us. I'm excited for you. I think it's going to be a great adventure. I know it's going to be a great adventure with God. Let me tell you a little bit about the structure of the class in case you've not studied with me before. Each day you're going to receive a video just like this one in your email inbox. And you just click on the link and I'll share with you for a couple minutes some words of encouragement, admonition from God's Word. I pray it'll be a blessing to you. Of course you also have a copy of the book becoming a vessel of God's power and you have daily reading and assignments in the book that you can follow along with. And then, I think what's really going to be an encouragement to you, once a week we're going to have a one hour teleseminar where I'll do a live teaching. Now of course if you're subscribing to this class subsequent to January of 2010, the classes will have been pre-recorded but you'll still get the wonderful benefit of it. And for those of you who are taking it live with me, I will have two opportunities scheduled during the week for you to call in, I'll give you a phone number, and you can call in and I will pray, personally pray with you, not prayer partners, I personally will pray with you. And I'm looking forward to that because that is my favorite thing in all the world. In fact, I, I took a class and I said, if you could only do one thing all day, every day, for the rest of your life, what would it be? And it was the easiest thing ever. I said, I'd love to just pray with people. Set up on a beautiful beach somewhere with a comfy, cozy chair, you know, lots of water, and just sit and pray for those people that God sent. Love it. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the other component that those of you, especially those of you who are doing this live in January of 2010 will have, is the online support, support of the Facebook group. And I'm going to leave that up permanently. Um, we'll see how active that remains after the live class. But it will always be there for you, and I will check it, and you can post your questions and your prayer concerns, and you can be sure that I will respond and I'll pray for them. So that's the structure of the class, and I think it's going to be... Um, really interactive and really dynamic for you. Let me go ahead and open us, uh, open the class and close this video in a word of prayer for you. Father, I thank you that your power can be released in and through our lives. I thank you, God, that you've given us a living hope, a living hope, not just words on the page, but Christ in us, the hope of glory, the hope
hope that we will be transformed more and more into the likeness and image of your Son because we have your power at work in our lives. I thank you for what you're going to do in the lives of each woman watching this video. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.